Okay, with that leg up in the air. <laughs> All right. How's it going? It's Kara Celeste from the editing room. So this video just got a bit too long. Um, we're still new to the tutorial game, so we're trying to understand more about lesson planning and making things interesting for you guys. So we decided to split this video up into two parts. This first part is going to be more about form, turnout, and the positions of the feet. The second video will be more about plies, just focusing on, on the plie. Now, there's a lot of dense quality and technique that comes into just doing one plie. So we wanted to make sure that we fit it all in there and you get to see how somebody who's never done a plie is executing it so you can you know relate why not i don't think you'll ever get anything else like this from another dance tutorial so please enjoy and thank you for understanding and let's continue and to inform you that i am a real teacher i got my degree at kennesaw state university it's legit Do you see that? Do you see that? <laughs> I'm a real teacher. Let's get started. So in lieu of the holiday season oh. approaching so much, when well, most ballerinas are already, uh, what's it called? What? Pointed. Preparing for, for, are preparing for, it. is the nutcracker. Okay. So, Don't the week before Christmas. Oh. I'm gonna crack some nuts. I mean, the nutcracker. <laughs> I would also love for Casey to know enough about ballet to teach her a small little nutcracker combo because that's what it is. Nutcracker? We're gonna do for you. We're all about it. I just call it nutcracker. The that's why the dirt germ dance is. That's what the ballet is called. Beautiful. <laughs> so I used to go to a Russian ballet school and or where we taught the Vaganova method of ballet, which if you watch Russian ballerinas, ballerinas place right here, um, they learn from this syllabus. So this book is the actual syllabus of the Vaganova method of teaching. So with that being said, I would like to teach it to my dear friend, Casey. <laughs> Make sure you remember I have no practice, no nothing about ballet, so that's why we start with zero. With what is it, Pilates? 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 No. What do you call it? Pilates. Is that what you call it? Yeah, do you call it Pilates? <laughs> Not anymore! <laughs> so on this one, what is this one called? Gonna, you're gonna teach me. This is a plie, but he was oh, on the ground. This is also for you guys too, so if you want to follow along with a little bit of entertainment, we got you, man. You know? So here we go. The ballet syllabus. I am warm. She's so warm. I'm just kidding. I'll be just a pole. That's what I'm great at. Should we get some tea? <laughs> so cool. Papa said we need some tea. We need tea. Alcoholic tea. <laughs> Ooh. 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 <laughs> like a sip. Oh, no, this is a serious classroom. Okay. All right, are we ready? Are we ready? Yes. Ready? All that shit you can cut out. We're back. Sorry. So, okay, the study of any pas, which means step in French, in classical ballet is approached gradually from its rough schematic form to the expressive dance. The lesson does not unfold immediately. It doesn't unfold how? Immediately. There you go. Before we get started with plies, I think it's really important that we t we discuss turnout. So if you watched our split video, 
If you haven't watched our split video, go ahead and go and watch that because we teach a good tutorial. It's called the magic trick that I teach my little five-year-olds and it teaches them how to warm up and start loosening up their hips. So it's not going to hurt when you get older to start learning how to do your hurt turn out, your hurt out. Wow. Unless you're old like me and you start practicing, <laughs> it's totally okay to hurt for beginners. It is okay. Don't complain. I mean, you can complain, but complain to yourself, you know? Don't hold yourself back. Or you can comment and complain to us about it. I would love to help you out. <gasps> yeah. Complain, complain, complain is my thing, honey. Leave your complaints in the comments below. Please. About how hard turnout is, not how about turnout, how terrible this video is. Turnout comes from your hips, not your knees. So if you're watching this and you're in a ballet class right now and your teacher is telling you turnout from your knees, um, welcome to a wheelchair by the time you're 21. If you're already 21 and you're taking from a teacher that's telling you this, welcome to a wheelchair at 30. Or maybe, what if the teacher is wrong? That's what I'm saying, the teacher is wrong. Oh, okay. So do not turn out from your knees, turn out from your hips. This is what Vaganova, Agrippina Vaganova has to say about turnout. The turnout is an anatomical necessity for every theatrical dance, which embraces the entire volume of movements conceivable for the legs and which cannot be accomplished without a turnout. So basically what you're talking about, and in contemporary dance as well, we talk about possibilities of our body and we really work with that. Turnout in your leg, whether you're turning in or turning out, is gonna give you all of those possibilities. And even if you start late and you start working on it, yeah, it's gonna hurt, but just know in the end game, you're gonna have so much more possibility for your legs. Magic. So turnout comes from five positions in the feet. Yeah, these uh, dance positions came from fencing, honestly. So I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna teach you the five positions of the legs. There's five of them, and they're beautiful. And now I'm repeating myself. Here we go. So I'm gonna teach this to you, like how I teach it to my five-year-olds. So we have first position. Yeah. Now the reason we stand like this is because if you were to move side to side, now shift your weight side to side, you see how much leverage you have? So I put my, my weights on my heels? If, no, 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 put the weight on the balls of your feet. So say you come off balance and you shift to the side. Now, can you catch? That's the balance we're talking about. <laughs> okay. But you can catch yourself, right? Versus, stay like this. And now shift side to side and you cut. Right? Oh, okay, so it's more for the base. It's for more the, for the stability. The exactly. Your knees have to be facing the way your toes are facing. A great way to find first position is to turn out. This is your natural first position, okay? And the more we start working our turnout in our plie, the more you'll see your, your feet start to turn out more. So we pick up the toes and we just turn them out. There you go. That's your natural first position. Oh, okay. Yeah. So don't try to fight that just yet because we're not like really skilled. Okay. So we have first position, kissy kissy heels, your feet are in love. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden they go through a big breakup. It's like, it's just such a big fight. So they go to second position. Big, yes. Yeah, they're away. In the Vaganama method, a second position is literally just a tondu out and place your heel down. But I don't really care because I'm American. And so we can go a little further, it's okay. Yeah, but not too far. You don't want to be like way out here, but you want to be like just enough, maybe like two feet widths. Yeah. So then we have third position. They kind of try to make back up, you know, but not totally. Do you know what I'm saying? So third position comes the heel to the middle of the foot. But they have yes. to have it twisted. Yes. So the, you have the to other stay leg, out. it's still like the first position. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you're still turned out. Yeah. Third position. Just a note on this. Third position was created, this is how men stand usually is in third position at the end of a ballet, but also third position was created for children who couldn't get totally to fifth. Yeah, so if you feel a tightness in your front knee, go to third position, because we're not gonna do third position in plies today. Yeah, because this is for little kids. Okay. Yeah. So we have third position. Then our little kiddos get into another fight. So we go to fourth position. We gotta go somewhere else, you know? Fourth position is just cross to the front. Now fourth can also be taught in two ways. 
I've had teachers tell me that fourth is your foot coming out from the third. And I've had my Russian teachers specifically tell me this, that fourth is your foot crossed. So that way you're still high, even though they're apart, if you're looking at me from a front view, like right here, you can barely see my back foot, yeah? I don't care whatever feels good to you. I like start teaching fourth where they come from the third position so they're not completely crossed because it's easier for them to start realizing where their hips need to be. Okay. So that's another thing to start learning about. Yes, this is a lot before we start going into plies. I know, last one, fifth position. They realize they just need to be friends and love each other even more that way. Fifth position, heel comes to your toe. Yep. So don't force it, you're gonna hurt your knees. <laughs> oh, but they don't hurt, okay, like that? I know, mine are like that, but that's because I'm like, my muscles are But trained. they don't hurt. It's okay, oh, okay, okay. If you haven't noticed already, all the even numbers, your feet are apart. All the odd numbers, your feet are together. Then we can also do it on the other leg. So let's just do it real quick so we get clarity on both sides of our brain. And fifth position for the left leg, beautiful position so hide your back foot hide it hide it yeah oh word yeah it's really hard so I what feel it. Okay. what plie is going to help you do in your turnout what it's going to help you do it's going to help you use these muscles to like cross more okay so you're going to feel it really right here yeah cool means our four corners a lot of teachers call them headlights. I don't really enjoy the headlight situation I'm more geometric so you have a lot of teachers talk about being square. You have to be square in ballet. So you have four corners, your shoulders and your hips. The only time that they're not square, this is not square. You see what I'm saying? Because my shoulders are facing at me, my hips are facing you. The only time we're not square is in choreography. But when we're taking a class, so right now, like today for this tutorial, I'm, you just need to be square the whole time. The hardest thing that's gonna be hardest thing for you to be square in is fourth because you're going to want to do this but am i for am i square now yeah you're square now okay. yeah yeah cool now put it a little further yeah beautiful and just push that ah, forward. now square. you ready cool are you ready to do it today yeah before you even bend your knees you're going to feel this now bend and come back up yes <laughs> oh my god, you good?